I'm Andy Brooksbank, I, um, I'm an orthopaedic surgeon and I specialise in shoulder surgery. Um, I work here at Ross Hall Hospital and I work in Glasgow Royal Infirmary. The main conditions I see are people with shoulder, mainly shoulder problems and some elbow problems. Um, it's a, we get a big range of uh, problems affecting the shoulder um, and across an, a big wide range of age groups. The majority of people with shoulder problems we will treat actually non-surgically. Uh, so after, after an assessment, um, there may be uh, some uh, physiotherapy involved, sometimes some injection therapy. And for certain specific conditions, then there may be surgical treatments. And within those surgical treatments, the majority of things we do are through keyhole surgery, usually as kind of day patient operations. And we may be repairing people's shoulders for uh, recurrent dislocations, for instance. We may be repairing people who, who've had rotator cuff tears. Um, or people with frozen shoulder conditions. Yeah, so the patient pathway uh, to Ross Hall is usually a referral um, uh, to, to see a shoulder specialist, and that may come from uh, a patient's GP. Quite often they're, they're already working with a physiotherapist and they, they may instigate the referral, and sometimes we get people who self-refer. Um, so the initial part of the pathway is a uh, assessment, so that would involve uh, listening to the story of the problem and a physical examination. And then if required, there may be some uh, additional uh, investigations and that usually takes the form of some form of imaging, which could be an MRI scan or an ultrasound scan and sometimes a, uh, less commonly a CT scan. Once we've got all that information, then we can then formulate a treatment plan for each individual patient. Um, and again, that would often start with from some form of rehabilitation. Uh, that would probably be the most common first thing. And then depending on how people respond to that treatment, um, an evaluation as to whether surgical treatment is required. If somebody does go on to need an operation, um, they would then uh, need further rehabilitation afterwards. And then we would, we would follow their their, um, their care until we, we're hopefully in a position that their shoulder problem has resolved. And that's really our goal of treatment is to get resolution of the problem. Probably the main things uh, about working here is there's, there's, there's always been a can-do uh, attitude uh, of the staff working, working together um, in the outpatients, um, with the imaging department uh, and with the operating theatres and we're uh, lucky to work with uh, uh, very good staff amongst other specialties like radiologists and um, uh, the theatre staff and anaesthetists. So there's, there's definitely a, a, a team approach that we work with and it's not just one individual. <laughs>